I have a very simple question. And that question is, can I take an image from the internet, a real image, a real project, and replicate it in twin motion and make the final rendering look photorealistic, almost as if it was the actual picture itself? Well, for this example, I was on Pinterest.com scrolling around looking for a nice architecture and I found an image of a house and it was designed by Punch Arc. Now I've never heard of this firm before, but going through their website, I can tell you that they design beautiful, really beautiful things. And so this specific house, which is located in Las Vegas, Nevada, really caught my attention because if we take a moment just to appreciate the pictures here and the, the design overall, everything about the house is just magnificent. Spaces like this, the materials that they chose, the color palette, the way that the volumes interlock, a lot of repetition, which I really enjoy a reading area or office, whatever that is, it's all in incredibly beautiful. So the stairs, they really paid attention to every moment. And what I love about this project is that every space feels completely different from the next. And that's okay because everything is tied together by the architecture. But you can see what a combination and collection of spaces they feature in this design. So shout out to Punch Architecture. You guys are very, very talented designers. But anyway, this image right here, this is the one that caught my attention on Pinterest. I hadn't seen the rest of the house. And I thought doing something like this, remaking, remodeling something like this would be really simple for me to do. There's not much going on, at least not in the foreground. There's some things in the background, but I felt that it could probably take me maybe an hour to model what's going on here. And so I did exactly that. But keep in mind, I wanted to recreate this shot here. And so I didn't have any of the dimensions. I don't have any of the plans. I, I don't know anything. I had to eyeball everything. And so that's why the final model here looks completely weird because it didn't have to be perfect. All I had to do was create a shot from this perspective that looked similar to this image here. And so let's just take a couple seconds here to go over what I did. You can see things like this exist. And that's because when I was going back to this shot here, the certain maybe heights or lengths that I give the buildings in the background weren't right. And so rather than redoing the whole thing, I just added a fake uh, makeshift piece that would allow this shot to actually seem like the shot that we're gonna render on Twin Motion. And so there's spaces like this that actually don't have any thickness that are just there to make the building look like a building and to hide all the mistakes and all the imperfections. And so if you look at the building overall, it looks okay. I even went and I modeled these two by hand, which was really simple because I used the loft command to make these and they're not perfect, but they're very similar. I made sure to put everything on the right layer depending on what I saw in this image. And I think the part that I put the least effort into creating was this here, because if you look at the image, the ones that are in the back and the ones that are here, these wooden louvers, are at least they seem to be a different scale these here and so what i just did is i recycled this over here so it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be pretty close and so i took that over to twin motion and here we are and what i tried to do on twin motion was that i tried to recreate that image that we had seen on the punch architecture website i tried to recreate it here on twin motion and there's that image and so the shot is really similar one of the biggest differences that you'll note is that the aspect ratio for the shot is wide and this is more of a square shot and so they captured more of the sky in this image and a little bit more of the ground than i was able to capture here and i want to point out again that i didn't have any dimensions so everything that you see here is completely guesstimating dimensions and making tweaking things to look right and so what we're going to do now is we're going to add materials to try to match what we see in this image and try to use twin motions materials to recreate the scene here and because all my layers are set appropriately, I could just drag and drop a material and it automatically turns whatever I select into the material of my choosing. So we'll start first with some glass. And it seems that their glass has a little bit of a, of a blue tint to it. Next, we'll try to select the concrete that's very similar to this one. I think this one could work. It's a little too dark, but also the sun is not in the right position. So let's go ahead and change that before we continue. Now the concrete looks better, but it's not quite right. And unfortunately, Twin Motion doesn't let me make this any brighter than it already is. But I guess we could try using another type of concrete. I think that's going to be the best that I can do. Because all the other concretes have uh, different textures that won't match. I could import my own materials, but the idea was to only use Twin Motion the way that it comes. And so we'll just leave that for now the way that it is. 
Next, we want to bring in this material. I'm going to use slate for that. It looks good, but I have to reduce the color or remove the white, make it black. I don't know why this looks brown rather than black. And I have to bring down the bump a little bit. I actually ended up using brushed aluminum. Next, we'll do these planners here. This looks to me like stainless steel, but Twin Motion doesn't have stainless steel. So I'm going to be using aluminum siding and I'm just going to bring down the scale about right there. And these look a little bit more matte than these do over here. So I'll remove some of the reflection. Finally, we want to add wood to these panels here. And I want to make sure I use a wood that really shows the pattern, the natural pattern of wood. And so maybe one like this. This one is ash. Now the color's off because this is darker and has a little bit more of orange, I believe, in there. That's okay. We can make this darker pretty close. I want to make sure I increase the scale so that you can really see that pattern. And so even though I'm on ultra right now, ultra settings for the quality, you still can't really tell what the pattern looks like until we render this image. And as always, remember to save. Now the next part is going to be to try to change the landscape from green grass to whatever is shown here. And I don't know if Twin Motion has anything similar to this, but we'll check. Perhaps this could work here, forest ground. Not quite. Maybe this one. No, not really. This seems to be like small stones. Maybe this. That's gravel. And if we change the scale, it's pretty close. I think that's the closest that we're going to get. Maybe this one here, sand with seashells. It's close, but not quite. So it's either going to be this or this. I think I'm going to go with this one. Next, we'll get rid of this background. And thank you to those of you who uh, told me in my last video how to change the background, because that's something I didn't know how to do in Twin Motion. And apparently you have to go to location and then background and then pick the city, then pick whatever it is. And uh, for some reason, I just feel like that's kind of hidden in there. And so this one will be fine. Next, we'll add a couple clouds to the sky, even though this is pretty clear. The blue is not the same, and I don't know that you can actually change the, the hue of the sky. I don't think so, unfortunately. I think that's the blue that we're going to get. We could try changing the saturation up to 55 just to give it a little boost. And now we'll start to add some plants here in these planters. But first, there's stones there in these planters, so we got to add those. And we'll do that by painting the terrain. So we'll switch this to about four feet and we'll switch this over to pebbles to actually make it two feet. And we'll start to paint this now. So unfortunately, painting it is kind of a pain. So I'm just going to undo this and I'm going to do something on Rhino so that we can fit it in these planters. And so what I've done on Rhino is that I've created these curves and now I'm going to use the loft command to combine them into one surface. Now we press OK. Perfect. I think that'll do. And now we'll just copy this over to this one. And I think that'll be good enough. Now back over here at Twin Motion, we have our new material. And so all we simply do is grab the pebble, drag and drop and voila. So let's go to our view and the scale is not right. So we're going to make this 0.25. That seems about right. Next, we need to add these here. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And we're going to place some around. And let's see if Twin Motion has anything that's similar to that. Not quite, but close. <laughs> I think the agave would be the best one. One that resembles these the most. And we could change the scale down to 40%. Nothing. 20%. And percent. And so they're a little bit out of scale. Not bad. They just look too dark compared to this here. We also need one of these guys over here. There, that looks pretty good. But we're going to add some more and you will see that it's floating. And that's completely okay because you're not going to see this part. Next, we're going to start to add all these plants that are around. And since I don't know what type of plants those are, I'm just going to guess. Make it look similar, but I'm not going to place everything where it goes, obviously. Or maybe I should. No, I'm just kidding. All right, now I'm just putting plants in these planters here. And we got to find a bushier one for this one. I think that'll work. All right, now we got to add other plants around this area here. And we got to continue adding plants to uh, the topography and then these small stones here. And so this is what I have so far. Getting there, but not quite. So I'm just adding plants at random. Trying not to do too much, but also trying not to do too little. This one is too distracting, so we got to get rid of it. But I think it's coming along great. This one also is too distracting, but I think it looks good. And maybe these back here are too distracting. This one. These are very distracting plants. Okay, it's all right. Now we got to change this floor here on this model to a similar concrete, but it's actually darker. I think this one's going to work. Let's bring the scale to one. Too much. Maybe 0.75. And it's actually significantly darker than what I have here. More. Cool. Awesome. It's looking good. Now we got to add these trees. And I've never seen these on Twin Motion. I can put something similar to this, but I pretty much guarantee they're not going to have anything like this. And we're still missing those stones, but we're almost done here. 
All right, so there are those stones. And now let's look for the trees. This is not it, because you see the leaves are different on this one than they are here. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna find anything like this. Maybe this one, but let's try and reduce the size. You know, even at 1% age, this thing is still a huge tree, so that's not gonna work. Are they just born that big? Maybe, th maybe this one here? Yep, not quite, but I guess it's the one that summer, autumn, winter, no, auto. I guess it's okay. Feels really, really distracting, but yeah, I think this is gonna be fine. It feels so in the way, but I guess there's nothing there. And... All right, so everything's placed. Everything looks pretty much identical to the picture. Close, close, but not identical, but close. And I messed around a little bit with the white balance just so we can match the colors of this image a little better. And I gotta tell you, it's looking pretty good. So what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna render this image Let's save before we lose a bunch of stuff. We only have one image to select here. And unfortunately, guys, since I'm using the trial version of Twin Motion, the perpetual free trial, I think that's why this is happening. The output size doesn't let me select 4K, so it's going to stay at 2K. And um, I think it's going to look OK, but we're not really going to be able to zoom in too much if we want to uh, post process this in Photoshop, which we're not going to in this video, maybe in a future video. Um, but anyway, let's see what this looks like. Kind of excited to see. All right, so the final image is done and I'll give you guys $100 if you can guess which one is the real image. Is it this one or is it this one? I'm just kidding. You can obviously tell that this is the twin motion image and this is the original image. The aspect ratio is one of the first things that you notice about the image. Second thing that you probably notice is these vases here and just overall the way that I took the image is not exactly the same as this one was taken but it's pretty close it's really close you'll notice that the wood that they have has way more texture than the one that we have and that probably has to do with the fact that we're not doing it in 4k but if you were to use a custom made wood then definitely it would look better everything else looks very similar even the size i'm pointing at my screen like you guys see that but um even the size of of these um scores or reveals are very similar in size to these and so now here are those two images side by side and when they are side by side it gets a little bit more difficult to tell which one's a rendering and which one is not since you have been with me the whole time then immediately you can tell um, and definitely what gives it away is this portion right here notice how even these guys over here are very similar i almost got it spot on i should have increased the scale of the material a little bit so that we can catch those horizontal lines but um, definitely the wood is what gives it away Everything else is so similar. The ground obviously is different. So if I would have wanted to completely match this, I would have imported uh, some sort of some sort of ground texture that looks more like this. And also the the colors uh, are more saturated here. This is like green yellow, and this is more like a, of a dark green. And so we'd need to bring the saturation down here a little bit, but it would be tricky because the sky on this one is completely different than the sky on this one because this is a very light blue and it doesn't seem to have too much of a gradient yet this one you can see that it goes from white to dark on this corner so if we wanted to photoshop this it would be a little tricky but you can see that the concrete is almost exactly the same the color temperature i think is not completely right on this one and so this concrete looks more yellow than this one and then these lines are way more harsh than these lines are here this is more subtle we'd have to smooth out these edges here. And so I think that's something else that gives it away. And uh, finally, the shadows in real life are much nicer than in Twin Motion. You can see that the shadows in real life, they're nice and defined. And then these here start to feather off. And so that that's not so nice. And also there's way more of an ambient light in real life than there is in Twin Motion. And that's something I could have adjusted, but um, I missed it and so I'm not gonna redo this render but now you have an idea of what kind of quality twin motion can give you and for those of you who think I've missed a step that could have really increased the quality of this let me know down in the comments because other people who are gonna be rendering would probably like to know how can they get the most photorealistic quality using twin motion and so I would appreciate if you guys leave a comment with all your suggestions below also let me know what you think about what I did and let me know if you like the, these types of videos so that I can make more in the future.
I'm always happy to hear everybody's critiques and suggestions. To the designers at Punch Architecture, I want to mention that you guys are very talented once again, and I really enjoyed doing this, working on this project. It's a really nice design. And to the guys over at Twin Motion, if you're watching this, why don't you make me one of the characters in Twin Motion so that other people can put me in their models? That'd be super cool. So everybody go over to Twin Motion and spam on their social media, telling them make Mooch into a character. It doesn't have to be an animated one. It could be one of those standstill ones. But anyways, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Mooch and this is Pigeonhead Architecture. See you down in the comments.